Hello everyone, so this video I'll teach you about uh, polypainting and uh, how to activate colorize on all sub tools, the different shortcuts that is very useful when using polypainting. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so activate colorize on all sub tools. Okay, so you have uh, this colorize button on the top left near the center of the uh, interface. So all our objects we actually need to set the colorize to be on. Okay, so you can activate colorize on all these sub tools. The uh, shortcuts B is to switch between the foreground and the background color. C is to pick color from the model, and C and then sh uh, shift is to blend the colors together. Okay, so when we open up the window, know that uh, we can use these different shortcuts. This uh, is the foreground color. The one that is black is the background color. Okay, so uh, let me carry on with this. So in our interface, we can see that this colorize button is not on and uh, all this brush is not on. The brush also stands for uh, colorize on our model. So what one shortcut I can do is I just hold down shift and left mouse click on one of these brushes. I'll on colorize on all my sub tools. Shift and left mouse click off all sub tools colorize. So I'll keep this on because now I'm doing poly painting. All right. Poly painting. The uh, first thing I need to do is to do a few objects to have a base color on the model. Okay, so I will select the uh, color and then I press a uh, few color to be brown. And then I'll press a uh, few object. So new users also get confused also over uh, how you can create the color on the model. Like uh, when you switch the color on the foreground color, you, you will notice that this color keeps switching if you don't have a colorize button on and you may get confused. But if you mouse over this, so for example, if you mouse over this, you see this color, that means that your model is indeed this color right now. The color is being filled over there. Okay, and we can also see some of the brushes that I like to use very often. The PP base, PP gravity, PP layer, PP sponge. The default one from ZBrush is called the paint brush. Okay. So, so none of the uh, brushes should be on. You know, uh, I mean, uh, none of these uh, Z add and Z sub should be on when we are doing uh, poly painting. That's why we need to emphasize on using only brushes that do poly painting. Okay. When you are used more used to this, you can start to use. Maybe you want to mix both uh, color and together with sculpting. But for now, just keep it all color. Okay, so when we are doing color, we are only dealing with color. So this uh, RGB intensity will show the in full intensity, the opacity that we are painting it on. All right, so uh, let me show you the uh, shortcut. The tab is uh, color. Then we are going to do a few objects on all these layers. Okay, so. Uh, Let's bring out my reference again. Sculpting reference, my cat color. Okay. Yes. And then maybe I'll go to my cat and I'll press Ctrl plus so that I can see the extra colors of cat. Alright, so this cat is kind of have this brown color here. I'll just select one of this brown color. I'll make it very light, much lighter. And then I'll do a few color here. Okay, so I'm now on the head, and uh, just now, uh, off screen of the recording, I also, I also did a bit of a uh, I also did a dynamesh. So my dynamesh resolution is now one two eight. One two eight resolution. Okay, so if you have a one two eight resolution of dynamesh on your cat head, I think it's good. So why I want to uh, up the head resolution? So everything else in the cat is uh, is uh, sixty four res, but only the head is one two eight because I noticed there's some fine details on the cat that uh, it might be better for me to have, and uh, I'm still under one hundred thousand poly count, so that's pretty good for me. So I'm using one two eight for just the head. Okay, so you can up the rest of your objects accordingly, and you have control over how you can, uh, how you want to up rest or use this for poly painting or for more details. Okay, so uh, I just want to fill color the object. So I'll, that's it. I fill the color. 
uh, another thing I want to change is uh, this material is not very good for polypainting. So the best one is skin shade four. Yes, so this bright one is very good for us to look at the a little bit of shadow with mainly the color that we are painting on. Okay, so let me go to other years and I'll press view object again. Body, view object, tail, press view object, legs, press. So I noticed the legs should probably be white, so I press uh, B on my keyboard to switch this up. So I'm keeping the uh, brown color on my background and then I'm switching this to be more white. Maybe I don't want it to be fully white. So I'll press another few object here. So this cat, the center part of the body is actually a bit white. Okay, so using my brushes, I want to find my paintbrush. Paintbrush. And then I'll start painting like this. Uh, on my symmetry. Sorry, just now I forgot to on symmetry. And I'll start painting part of the cat. Colors. Okay, so match it with your uh, reference. Match it well. It's not very hard. And I think uh, there's some areas where we can leave it to our imagination. So press V to switch colors back to. Uh, Back to brown. Then I'll just adjust it again. I want it to be a bit more rounded so it's a bit cuter. Switch it back, press V. If I hold down alternate. Uh, oh, sorry, I mean a shift. I can smooth this area here. So maybe I just want to smooth it a little bit. Okay, when I hold on shift, make sure I don't have a Z add on. Make sure I'm using RGB intensity only. So I'm only smoothing the colors. Okay. I alternate click on the ears. Now I'm painting on the ears. Easy. Very easy application. Alternate click on the eyes. Now I'm painting on the eyes. Okay, so for the eye, I'll just want to switch this to black and I'll do a few color the object black. Go back to the head of the cat. I'll do a pink color right here. Also want to draw the uh, this a uh, large area with with my paintbrush. Okay, so not too much, just a little bit. Press C to uh, color pick. So I noticed there's a bit of yellow at the middle just now. So I just color pick and then I can color pick black color again. So basically now we have the full colors, range of colors on my uh, on my model, on my painting. So I can just press uh, C to color pick anywhere I want. C, color pick. Really easy, really nice. Maybe I even want to mix it up a bit. Maybe I have a bit of darker, darker color on top of the mouth over here. And I'll hold down shift to smooth this a bit. Let's mix it up a little bit more. Then now I'll just press C again. I want to clean this up. Controlling white color. It's my clean brush. 
thing it looks pretty close to reference and uh, maybe the only thing that is not close to reference is actually the model which is this part should be pushing a little bit more so number four brush uh, snake hook somehow has the rgb channel on i should off it so just take note when you are using rgb on the snake hook you should off it so it's not affecting your colors okay so i think uh, I think my mouth is a bit not red now, so <laughs> so I would adjust this color. I'll make it this color instead for the mouth. Hehe. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm happy with that. I'm a full brush and adjust the shape of the mouth a bit more if I want to. Not big stretching, but just a little bit, so still okay. Okay, so I think uh, the only thing I don't have right now is the tail. So the tail also has to have some of this white color. Let's see on some of the white color, so I can color pick on the white color. Um, let me use my brush again, paint brush. Put on shift, smooth this a little bit. Somehow prefer that. And yep, okay. So I'll uh, end this video here. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.